Hey guys, we are back again with another Biopass episode and today we'll take a look at Wolverine jacket version from the movie Deadpool and Wolverine. Guys, Howie has been dropping the heat non-stop this week and many collectors are already suffering because it's a lot to come and all of them amazing figures. But before we start, if you want to pre-order this figure, make sure you check out Comic Concepts, I will put the link in the description below. Don't forget to use my code MOHC10 and you can save 10 bucks store wide. Also, while you're done there, please consider subscribing to the channel. We do unboxing reviews, live streams, and of course, buy our past episodes. And if you want to support the channel even more, become a member and hit the join button in the description below. All right, guys, enough of the talking. Let's start with the preview. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we have Wolverine. But before we do this, I want to show you something that was just announced and yes, mystery accessories finally revealed. We have baby pool, we have the head and that's it. So no way to scope for now. Don't worry, I have a good feeling that we're going to see more coming from this movie and especially a way to scope with Deadpool. But this is basically what we're going to get in the new set of accessories per se right you can see the head baby pool with interchangeable eyes so i'm not gonna go over too much into detail but you can see here this is the breaking news this morning we're gonna get this mystery accessories now boom let's move to wolverine and let me tell you guys wow so we knew that the hatois did an amazing job with the scope and now the body and wow this looks fantastic i mean the detail is crazy you can see the, I guess the battle damage, right? Some scarves, some blood. It looks really good. Now this is seamless body and that's a huge plus. You can see even the hair on the arm that looks fantastic. The chest, it is sculpted and roughly painted, not too much paint, but the proportion, I think it looks excellent. We have a battle damage pants or what well, we think we're gonna get a battle damage figure stay tuned for that and you can see the mask right here now the head scope is exactly the same as the other head scope from the previous release and don't worry you can see that in the screen now and if you compare that one with this one exactly the same just the paint application a bit different because it is a battle damage one you can see the chest nicely done as well of course he has the sword with some blood more blood and the claws here with the uh, with the hand right looking good now one thing I'm noticing is that the color from the hand and the body is a bit different, but again, it is what it is. We have the jacket here, which we don't know at what stage of the movie we're going to see this, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to go to see the movie on Saturday and I can wait. But overall, it is a silicone body. I don't know about the articulation because remember, with silicone body, you need to be kind of careful with that. But other than that, I think it's going to be a great, great release. Now you can see more details here on the body, especially on the body, right? You can see more blood here. The skin texture is really nice. And of course the head scope, which is, we know already that it's an amazing, amazing thing done by Hot Toys. We have another picture here of this dynamic pose and it looks really cool. Now, one of the complaints I had before is the material of the suit. In this case, the pants, you can see the creases here. I'm not sure it's going to be a problem over time, only time will tell, but overall, I think it does look very good. A lot of other damage going on, of course, you can see more blood stains, a lot of weathering on the pants, which looks fantastic. We have another picture here of Wolverine wearing the jacket, which is fabric, so it's going to be good. And we have this shot right here. Now, one thing the high toes have been done very effectively is the way they've done their bodies. And even though they might sacrifice a little bit of aesthetics versus articulation. I think you can do good poses with this. I'm not sure about leaving them uh, in the joints bent for a long time, just because you might have issues in the future. But again, it is too early to tell. Time will tell. Now, you can see here, up crunch looks like is no problems whatsoever. But the detail on the bite and the proportion is really good. I mean, you can see the veins here, some... Um, some weathering and blood stains throughout the body which looks really good we have another picture here this is the front and the back with more scarves so muscular silicone upper body with seamless design from neck to arms so that's pretty cool two style of jackets display so you can leave it open or close 
your choice, of course. And this is basically everything that this figure comes with. So we have the separate rolling eyeballs, which is a similar feature. We have the body, jacket, the mask, hands, and of course we have an additional accessory to be revealed. What could that be? I have no idea. So let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Which one or which accessory will they actually reveal? And of course the pants. Now I'm gonna definitely buy this figure. I love everything so far from this movie. I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but you know what I mean, the figures and all that. I can wait to see the movie on the weekend. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna buy or pass. And that's it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on all my social media platforms. And if you have some time, you may want to check Deadpool's review or Buyer Pass episode, which I think is a good figure. Or if you're still curious to see how this first version of Wolverine was, you can check the other Buyer Pass episode underneath. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.